What went right tonight? Uh, this one of the games, like, we're prepared. We, we, we knew we needed to win this game, and uh, we came out ready. Uh, first quarter a little slow, but uh, after that, we, we took the lead, and never we didn't let them get back in the game. You had 24 points, a career-high 16 rebounds. Why were you able to control the boards the way you did? Uh, I was boxing out. I was boxing out my guy. Uh, my teammates were boxing out their guys, so there was no, there was no guard. Their guards couldn't fly in and disrupt the, the boards, and so I just had to go and get it. You also had four block shots. What do you think was the key to your team defense? Uh, we did. We wanted to double uh, Booker on the screens uh, to to make him get rid of the ball and we we did that, we did that pretty good and we we made other guys uh, make the make the plays you and KCP were the leading scorers but I thought Lance was kind of the key to everything yeah. in the fourth quarter what yeah. did you think of what Lance did uh, it was it was great uh, you know we we all know what Lance can do and uh, when he's making those shots it's much easier to win the game and here comes Joel Embiid, who is an elite NBA center. What yeah. are your thoughts about facing him on Tuesday? Uh, I have to uh, prepare extra, and you know he's one of the best big guys in the league. So yeah, I'll I'll have Tyson to help me out, Javale. What what kind of defense to play? What's 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 the best way to play against him? And I'm gonna come out ready. advantage in the paint today. Um, how, what was the game plan like in terms of taking advantage of that? Uh, we, knew, we knew they didn't have eight, and so we knew they don't have any rim protection. So our game plan was like get in the paint, like stop shooting threes, get in, in the paint. They don't have any rim protection. And we started doing that. They started collapsing into the paint, and then we, we had open threes. And finally, we made some this time. Thank you, sir. Yep. When you're about to face an elite center like me, is that is that when you like Tyson there? Did you sit down, sit down and pick their brains about, about what to expect since that guy's you know, in the practice we we always prepare the day before we prepare for the team who who we got next. So every time uh, uh so we got Joel Embiid, we're gonna we're gonna put the ball in a post in a practice and Tyson is gonna help me out on a in a like on the floor, he's going to help me out how to defend him, what side should I make him go, what uh, what, what are his moves, and you know, he'll, he's always there to help me, so I, if I got any question, I ask him, and he's always happy to help. The importance of, uh, you had a three-game losing skit, just to, to, to get it right, and not let it linger, and go on to four, five, six, and... To stop it, to yeah, no, no. It's uh, we knew we knew what we got to do. We knew we got to win this game, and uh, we we came out ready, uh, ready to play. We played hard, and we never gave them the chance to win the game. I know you talked about how well Lance played, but when he's out there celebrating and doing stuff like the air guitar stuff, does that give you guys extra energy? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, especially when he's hitting the shots. So you know that that gives a fuel to to all the players and uh, everyone's having fun on the floor, everyone's happy to go back on defense, get another stop and then go on offense, make another shot and you know that's how it goes. Every time we, we have a good offensive possession it's easier to go back on defense and get ready to make a stop.